President Barack Obama has cancelled his trip to Malaysia to tackle the US government shutdown. Welcome to Wednesday's Press Review, I'm Elaine Stenson. There is no end in sight to the first US government shutdown in nearly 20 years. President Obama says House Republicans are holding the entire economy hostage after a day that saw thousands of workers sent home. Meanwhile, Republicans are saying that Obama cannot complain about the Republican Party as long as he refuses to negotiate with them. However, stock investors seem to be confident that a deal will be reached quickly as the S&P 500 closed up 0.8% and the Nasdaq Composite gained 1.2%. If a new funding bill is agreed soon, the shutdown would have little impact on the world's largest economy. A week-long shutdown would slow US economic growth by about 0.3%, according to Goldman Sachs, but anything longer could have more of an impact on the economy as workers reduce personal spending. The last shutdown in 1995 and 1996 allegedly cost taxpayers $1.4 billion. The political crisis raised fresh concerns about whether Congress can meet a mid-October deadline to raise the government's $16.7 trillion debt ceiling. If the country doesn't manage to raise the debt limit and is forced to default on its obligations, this will have serious implications for the economy and send global markets into turmoil. A 2011 standoff over the debt saw consumer confidence plummet as well as the first ever downgrade of the United States credit rating. Analysts are saying that this time it could be worse. Republicans and Democrats are blaming each other for the shutdown but are said to be embarrassed about the situation. This is a black eye on our government at all levels, said Republican Representative Michael Grimm of New York. I think it's a low point for all of us. And that's all for today's press review, but later I'll be covering any shutdown developments with trader Alessio Rastani, so do check back for that. Bye for now.